Hello guys, good evening. Uh, welcome back to our channel guys. So this evening guys, uh, we'll demonstrate how we are going to deploy our .NET Core API and the Angular content to our IIS server. Right, so first that I deploy guys, I encounter some issue. So like for example, uh, the web server is not uh, uh, it's not working, the link to the URL is not working. And I found a solution, and that's with what we call URL rewrite that we need to install in our IIS, and we need to add a web config for that. So I will show it to you so you may encounter this problem just like me. That this is my first time to deploy an Angular application in our IIA server in, in Windows 2000 server. So it might be helpful to you as well. All right, so <clears throat> first, uh, this is our .NET Core API, as you can see my screen. So I already using a with a sync here, so it will be more, uh, yeah, a sync and a with it will be more responsive. So it will not stop your your module or your processing. For example, I have here unit of work uh, and at request, so it will not stop there, but it will go to another another one. So there's no blocking. So your your application will be more faster and more, more responsive. So yeah, we, we, when we are not going to make it asynchronous, it will finish first the first method before it will go to another method like that. All right, so I already, because I don't have direct access to the web server and our data center, so I manually deploy it. So if it, what I mean is that I packaged it after I package it, I publish it, I copy the publish file and save it and add it as center. But our focus now is in the Angular part because I know you already know how to deploy in that .NET application. All right, so here in my Angular application, excuse me, this is my Angular application. So first thing that you have to you need to configure is that in our environment our environment that production should have this so you have to set your uh which uh, iis or the web server api address like this and production is equals to true and of course in your mean that c is this one you have to in a, if environment is in a, the production you have to enable production and then after that you need to build the the packets or the deployment program so it will be usually in what we sit here in our this folder here this folder so i already have here so the command guys to build for production deployment is ng build uh that 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 configuration configuration post production all right, so this is for the latest one. The other command for, for example, uh, ng build that that this URL is it the this URL is already deprecated. It's not working anymore. So take note, guys, that after we we build this one, it will create uh, what's ng build configuration post production uh, configuration and an argument. What? The command ng build configuration post production Okay, so what's wrong with this? The first one I think we misspelled all right, so it's it's creating now the files. So if you can see our files, let's take a look here. It will be here in the destination folder. You can set up it where you want to put it. Right, so this one index HTML. This is the most important that you need to manually edit it. So here you have the history. You have to put here what is the URL of your IIS, when you set up the IIS, if you are not setting up in the 
as a default website because you may be able to have a default website but sometimes you should have a, a what we call a subsite so for example in our case i have created an application not in the default website but it is a subsite where i call it brf we are a web like that. So this is my main website in the IIS that I configure, right? So you have to put that in your index and just save it. And then all of these files, you have to copy it. So as you can see here, it's already uh, like that. It's a JS file. So you cannot see any command here. And it says it's like that. And don't forget to include this, guys, the web config that web config. I, I will discuss it later on. This is all about the URL rewrite. And by the way, don't forget also to add this in your Angular JSON that file. So this one, as it, you have to add the source with that config. Don't forget that to write in your um, uh, TypeScript or your Angular before you you build it. Before you build it, you have to put the web config. The source because if you are not going to set this then it cannot be fine so i will show you my iis uh, data center or web server so you can know what i'm talking about This is guys. This is our web server. So what I'm talking about is uh, this one, the default website. If, if you're creating the default website, so your index base URL should be just last. But if you are creating a application, not the default one, like what I did here is this one, we are if we. So this this should be the name in your index index this url very big and you also notice that here i also have this url right so that is where that you need to install in order that your application angular application the url will be working because if you will not install the url right then you may be encounter some 404 error right so we'll take a look on that right so we have already Package the Angular site uh, build. So now um, in your in your go back to our IIS. So first you have to install. Uh, this is the link. I found this link and it should be helpful to us also. This one. So yeah, this this command is the previous version, so it's not it's not working. Then. Yeah, this is what I called about that the base CRF should be equal to the the application name that you set up. And then of course uh when you create the application you have to point that to your where you put the the package application folder, right? And then next that is to install the URL right module in IIS. So you just have to click this link and download it. So I already downloaded it and installed. So that is why in my IIS, I already see this URL. So as you can see here, I already have here. So if you don't have there, then there will be a problem. All right, so that's the most important one. So I, you are already right. After that, this file, configuration, you copy this, and this is the important one, URL, then the name of your, the web application that you name it. For example, in my case, BR equip, so I have to put it. But if you are in the default application, it just has to put this one slash. Okay, so that is the web config with config that will be added in your files. So as you can see here, and go back to my server. So this one, this one is pointing to uh, 
have to explore it. So this one, so my index, I already have here the ID. And then as you can see guys, I already have also a config here. So basically, it's just a minimal web config and the most important one is just this one. Uh, type rewrite URL. This is the main application, the main page, the base URL that you have. Okay, after that you have deployed it and you have configured the web config, then your IS will be working now. Your application will be working. So for example, in my case, this will be here. So this is now my Angular application. So I can add a request here. So everything here is work, right? So I this is also in this application. It get my automatically my login in, and this is the list, and I can view from here. So yeah. So there are lots of things that I need to do here, but I just deploy an initial version. So that the IOAT can start, the IOAT person and the IOAT stuff will start and saying, giving more bugs or more issue to me. But anyway, that's our, that's our job and that's our passion to help them more productive in their, <laughs> their tasks as well. So basically this is just a small application, but there are lots of things that I learned. So one thing is the, the this is my first time Angular, and then I able to deploy it. I able to uh, lots of things that happen in here. All right, so that's that's it, guys. For now, how you deploy to your application to the IIS, and yeah, if you have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button, so you will be notified for our upcoming videos. That will be more interesting videos, uh, such thing like that because we have we have a lot of things to refactor from our Angular. Uh, yeah, because this is our first time in Angular, so I guess uh, there are lots of things that we refactor. I have found some issue here, so we need to do it. Very good, and I am going to share a video also. So, yeah. The modules here so basically mm -hmm. modules, yeah so guys thank you happy learning and bye bye